Howdy there, partner. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, or should I say partners? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Hell or High Water. Yeehaw! So, Hell or High Water is directed by David McKenzie. The film is written by Taylor Sheridan, who wrote last year's Sicario. And the film has the talents of Chris Pine, Ben Foster, and Jeff Bridges. So Hell or High Water, I'm not going to go into too much detail with the plot, but I'm going to say for this film is that Chris Pine and Ben Foster, they play these robbers and they go out and rob banks. And there's a reason that they go out and rob banks and Jeff Bridges and his partner are out to go find these robbers and stop them. That's as little I'm going to go with the plot, you guys, because there is so much to the story that I really do not want to reveal about this film. So Hell or High Water is a film that I was actually very, very interested in. I thought the trailers looked really good. I really love the cast, you know, with Chris Pine and Ben Foster and Jeff Bridges working together. It's really cool. And now that I think about it, this is a second film with Chris Pine and Ben Foster together. They worked in The Finest Hours earlier this year, and now we have Hell or High Water, so that's pretty interesting, honestly. And I just want to see how this film would turn out, although this is from the same writer of Sicario, and if you guys have seen my review, I was not exactly a fan of Sicario, unpopular opinion, I know. So I was hoping that this could be a really interesting film and not disappoint me like Sicario did. This film, honestly, really, really had me engaged from beginning to end. Hell or High Water was actually better than I expected, honestly. I went into this film expecting it to be just this very interesting movie, and what I got was a very captivating film. This is a very well-written story. And yes, whereas this is a slow burner, I never was bored watching this film. And that's just because I was always so invested in the storyline. The characters, like with Ben Foster, Chris Pine, Jeff Bridges, and I don't know the gentleman's name, but the one that played Jeff Bridges' partner. You know, these are the characters that have you very invested in this film. Everyone across the board really gives great performances. Chris Pine and Ben Foster do such an excellent job of playing these brothers. You can buy that they are these brothers that care for each other. And despite what they've been going through in this film, they've always had each other's backs and that was very great. There's even heartwarming scenes, a couple of heartwarming scenes between them that was actually very nice to watch. But but it's very interesting how this film actually makes you sympathize for criminals. And when this film can make you sympathize for criminals and actually make you scared for criminals, you know you did a great job there. And I thought Hell or High Water did an excellent job of doing that. Jeff Bridges and um, his partner, like I said, I don't know the gentleman's name, but I thought they had great chemistry. They're back and forth with each other was very engaging. And surprisingly, this film actually had some humor to it, and it's mainly due to Jeff Bridges' character. I was actually surprised by how funny this film could be at times. I was very surprised by that. Because, you know, for the first two acts, the film is a slow burn. It does take its time to tell its story. And where the film heads in its third act without spoiling anything, does it just lead to some of the most intense stuff I've seen this year honestly that third act wow the film has tremendous cinematography just when you see Texas in this movie it's just so beautiful some of the most gorgeous imagery I've seen this year honestly when you look at the beautiful views of like the mountains or the desert or even the houses for that matter, it looks great. This film does a great balance of actually using its music as well because this film, I would say at least for most of it, they don't really play music and that's something I noticed watching this film. They don't really play music like throughout but for the scenes they do actually play music and they would be mainly like songs 
wow does it fit the tone so well especially considering this is a film that takes place in texas the kind of score or maybe even soundtrack for that matter it really does fit this atmosphere and huge credit does go to david mckenzie because man he did a tremendous job of directing this film he really made me feel like i was in texas he really made me feel like i was in this adventure with these characters whether we cut to the sheriff and his partner or the two criminals who are also brothers taylor sheridan who wrote the script for this film i thought he did a really great job of writing the dialogue for the characters that's one of the things that definitely made hell or high water not only a captivating film but a fun film like this is still a film you could have fun with. The way Chris Pine and Ben Foster would interact with each other is very entertaining and even creates for some funny moments. Ben Foster, other than Jeff Bridges, he definitely had his moments of really making me laugh. There's this scene with Jeff Bridges, his partner, and this waitress. I'm not going to really say anything else. All I'm going to say is that that scene alone is actually one of the funniest scenes I've seen in 2016. My god, that scene. That was comedy gold, like, I'm not kidding, that was pure comedy gold. So it's the way he wrote the comedic moments with the characters and the way he wrote the more serious dialogue between the characters. It was honestly very captivating to me and that's huge credit to him. As far as problems go, the only one I can really think of for Hell or High Water is that it did have a couple of characters that would pop up for a minute that I didn't really think were necessary, especially in this one scene where Chris Pine and Ben Foster are in this casino there was a scene where there was a woman that was hitting on Chris Pine's character and while that scene did end on a very very funny note I'll definitely say that I did feel like that scene where the woman was hitting on Chris Pine it wasn't really necessary like it didn't really fit the movie for me and then there's a scene where Chris Pine and this waitress at the diner in this diner scene towards the beginning of the film that I'm not gonna really say anything and I could actually see why that they did that I just didn't think that scene right next to that girl in the casino really necessarily fit in my opinion but overall you guys Hell or High Water is truly a fantastic movie. This is a movie that has great dialogue, great memorable characters. This is a very original film. It's just so compelling throughout. It's so engaging to me. So you bet I am giving Hell or High Water four out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think about Hell or High Water? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!